beautiful morning you know they're going to plant but you got a little bit of time to go out and just enjoy yourself and listen to some signals that's honestly why i like this hobby so much i live in my own head i don't have to listen to anybody else no cell phone just some beeps in a metal detector and then the question of what you may find there you go morning light after 160 years this little fired pistol bullet that's interesting there we go look at that thing a 45 caliber colt originally someone was telling me they didn't think they fired them and when they fired them they didn't get rifling well that doesn't make sense pistols had grooves to spin the bullets awesome oh yeah that's a pretty drop sharps mm -hmm. there you go i think the last time i was here that's what i found out that way too somewhere. maybe maybe we're now does that have a case would that have a casing on it mm -hmm. right yeah yeah this is still a, a breech loaded right um i'm sorry muzzle loaded rifle calvary short though but very cool that's a nice shaped one yeah yeah i think it's gorgeous they're so big those bum eardrums out dropped up on that hill right there. Uh, do you have any emi problems this morning not like i did last trip i'm getting killed that's a beautiful bullet man nice look all the way down there you guys are probably tired of bullets but that's a dropped bullet and it is so difficult to hear oh that's a 69 too Oh, that one's pulled. <laughs> How about that? Let's not one up everybody. Let's do it. Oh my gosh. Finally, a stable target. Pulled 69. That's awesome. All right. So, what I learned is there's a fence by with barbed wire that runs through here. But I got this beautiful. blanking tone that means it's shallow and it doesn't necessarily tail off and drop so that means it should be a good target probably a bullet let's hope for a belt buckle i think there would be a calvary belt buckle in here there it is heard it fired come on now um so shallow but if you get into a big iron area that's how you gotta dig you gotta listen to very specific tones and uh, we're gonna keep going hopefully there's a, a belt buckle up in here oh that thing's pretty was it deep uh it's what 10 inches oh wow we had the center of our hole was a little bit off but that's all right that happens uh, junk. Center Got one right there too man oh wow two in a row maybe there's one more we changed locations. Look how beautiful that field is. Oh, my machine's quiet too. Uh, maybe, we'll see. Oh, I broke my cardinal rule. Never relieve relics to find relics. And here's a fired relic. Ah, that's tough. There's no way in the world I heard this all the way down here. I mean, this is in the middle of nowhere in a field. Let's hope it's something decent. Kind of looks like some ash right there. But that could be. Oh my gosh, that's a fire pit. And there's a bullet down in there. What in the world? That's canth lead. And that is ash out of a fire pit. There's no way in the world there's a fire pit out here. Yeah, that's a hundred percent a fire pit. What in the world? Uh, that's I wonder if that's like a hearth rock right there. Oh man, no way. 
There is no way. Make sure that there's this mineral. But that's ash right there. That's not a mineral. Look at that. That piece of cam club was right down the middle of that stuff. Holy smokes. All right, I'm going to open this up a little bit. There it is, right there. That's the ash we want. Give me that hand tool over there. I'll just scrape this around a little bit. Oh, man. At a minimum, we got a firebox. Wow, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, wow. We gotta stick your machine in here and see, look at that big chunk of ash right there. All of these things are so cool. Now, just need a little bit of glass for us. Reward us. Super cool. Cool cover. Classic. All right, let's see if we can pinpoint that. There's a lot of signals in there. <sighs> There's a huge sheet of brass right here. The question is, what is it? We heard that thing from the top. Be a clip corner. Was that lead? Oh, that's bone. Oh, that's a rock. <laughs> <laughs> all right, delete. Yeah, we'll try again. So that's the first bullet that's out of this. So grab that and pluck it out of there. How about that? No, it's that's not an infield, it's three ringer. It's just so ate up by the powder and the, um, the fire. And the question is, why couldn't we hear that from the surface? Um, but it is. I mean, look at the color down there. This is perfect. That's 20 plus inches. That's why it would have been so hard. And that little piece of cam play was up high. So who knows? So you can tell from all the color of the ash that this is some sort of burn pit. We've got two, uh, three bullets and a piece of, big piece of iron, which you would have thought you could have heard. But that's the end right there where Ryan's foot is. And what we think it is, it comes out and around. So probably a cooking pit, even better, because we know there should be a trash pit associated to it somewhere in here. Fingers crossed. So we're going to check again, but this is uh, completely a big oval cooking pit. Had uh, four bullets, a uh, really strange piece of iron in it, and um, a lot of ash, a little bit of bone, not much more than that. So where there's one, there's more. It's just going to take uh, more than a piece of camp lead to get us in it. So that's super cool. Oh, uh, that's just so cool. Plug her out. There she goes. We're just cleaning the hole up with the machine now. And, you know, this is just jammed in there. <laughs> All right, let's gonna say you check, again. check again. Blank. Yeah, that's a button. We got another one over there. I think it was uh, in the like right in that crease where you're at. I don't think it was actually in the wall. I think it was in the loose dirt, maybe. Yep. Oh, there it was. There she is. It may be a nail. Yep. All right, keep going. I, you know, I think they did. I'm not exactly sure what this piece is right here, but it certainly looks like a wagon piece. Uh, but honestly, it kind of looks like a leaf spring, you know, like a buggy spring. It's got that little curve to it. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bullets, some nails, some hearth rocks. Pretty cool. What is it? Oh, it's 
gonna be junk, I guess. Oh, I see it. Do I see it? Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's a <laughs> nice one. Here, I'll tell you what, you take that home and frame it. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. He says he has a fuse. <laughs> yeah, that's a fuse where you fuse a wagon to a tractor. That's exactly right. <laughs> He's calling for redemption. Yeah, that is a fired colt. How about that? Oh, yeah, it is. Cool. That's cool. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, you have to clean it out, but this is a brass end of a ramrod, I think. I believe, I believe, yes. Yeah. Well, that would be the big That's cool. would be the part that pushes the ball down. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I mean, I don't know how it'll clean out, but yeah, probably whatever caliber, probably round ball or whatever it is. Who knows? But it's old. It's probably pre-bore. That's cool. So there it is. That's cool. So 100% rams it right in, and that's why you get such hard ram marks on some of these bullets. Oh, yeah, that's why that. That's, that's why, why that rings around them. Yeah, yeah, we were talking about that last yeah. last time down here. Yeah, that's cool. Isn't that neat? So sometimes I don't do the best job of explaining things, and I don't know because that's how my brain works, or I could do a better job. But I walked down here and I saw this knoll, and I thought, man, this looks like a beautiful place to camp. And in turn, immediately found this fire pit cooking pit whatever you want to call it so now we need to find a hut if they're huts i don't know that this area is dug in but at least we know they camped at least an overnight if they hadn't a fire pit this is how i evaluate sites and how my brain works whether that's right or wrong um it's kind of you know just my thought process i um i had a gentleman ask me yesterday what how we end up finding a lot of items part of it is research part of it is experience part of it is luck so let's hope for a little luck uh to go with what we've got going on today look at that it's a lock key a little bitty brass lock key how cool is that that was right beside my fire pit. That is just neat as all get out. Oh, I bet they're upset with that. I love it. That right there is a gun tool. And what part is that? Let's that, learn. That's the nipple wrench. There you go. Not for people, but for guns. <laughs> Very cool find, man. So that'll have to electrolysize as well, but that'll be beautiful. Sure. <laughs> We're two for two. Look at the back of that. That rock is just covered in color. And I heard this signal and sound like a low tone. Now where's the color at? I mean We're gonna have to open this thing up to find it because there's still a signal in here, but I just don't know. The back of that rock is just loaded. There's little bits of it, but look at that. That's gotta be another fire pit rock. Pit near Muradoos, and this one's deep. So all the way down here, we're starting to get into the black ash and the change of color. And then these big old rocks. So we're gonna have to get that one out of there. Look at that ash coming out. It's just enough high up high to uh, make you wonder. But look how thin that is. So there's our wall right there. This is gonna be a deep one. You got all these big rocks in here, all the way over there. Look at all that color over there. All right. So that just came out of the bottom down there. Mm -hmm. And that's all ash. Burn material. 
That almost looks like leather that was sitting on top of it. We'll pinpoint it and see if there's a, I'd love to see a bullet just to know, but keep going. Oh, look at that pile of ash. Yeah, we're, we haven't even got to the, I think the actual color layer. Nail? Yeah, that wasn't what you heard. There's, oh, that's a piece of barrel band. All right. I'm not saying those two items weren't it, but man, it, it blinked really hard. Barrel band. That make you dizzy upside down like that long enough. <laughs> Alright. Pit number two is significantly different. It is three foot deep, probably. And um, it has got a, a huge layer around here of like very soft hand shovel ash layer. Uh, you can see it all mixed. You can see on the rocks right there. And, uh, man, just nails so far. So we'll see. So this one's a perfect circle here. And we've cleaned it all up. A layer of ashes on the bottom. These folks must have been really, really clean because there was just a handful of nails and uh, some rocks, probably hearth rocks. That's about it. Nothing to make us go this way. Nothing to make us go farther that way. So that means all of this comes back in here. So we've gotten the depth that we want. The other one had some of the targets we want. Now we need to find the two for the perfect pit. Somebody said they wanted to see brass. And there it is. There's the back of an eagle button. And uh, I got another high tone right there. So let's see if we can find the face of it. Oh yeah, that's a fatty. One cent. There's a shield. Let's see what we got. 18. 59. I think so. That's a nice, nice coin right there. Awesome. It's gonna need a little work, but I bet it should be pretty green. Well. That was a pretty hard day of digging. So, I think it's time to take these dirty hands, get some water, pick up my junk, and uh, <clears throat> go on up back to the truck. We got plenty of stuff to carry home with us, and uh, we should be all right. So, there we go. Let's go for a walk, way up there. Hey, that's a nice shovel you got over there. Walmart special, baby. Look at that. That's the expert. And you know you're going to go out in the field and you're going to have nothing but experts if they got expert shovels. A new day, a new shovel, the same field, but it's going to be good. Oh, if it wasn't for my bad pinpointing, this target right here would be in the middle. But because I'm not good at pinpointing, it's all the way over here. Where'd he go? There she is. She fell right out. And that rock knocked some of that uh that white off. Nice drop three ringer. Um, yeah, I'm terrible at pinpointing. But I'll tell you what, this uh this shovel right here, it's got a weird uh weird angle to it with the handle that I'm not used to. I'm used to a straight handle, but uh it's got a little more leverage to it. A little sharpening on here with these big foot pads and we'd be all right. First relic of the day, good to have. Let's find a pet. Jim just found this and it looks like a brass staple, um, but we don't exactly know what it is. That's uh, definitely Civil War period. Mm -hmm. And that was down the, that bottom, huh? In this bottom. Mm -hmm. It's shorter on one side than the other. Interesting, that's cool. Square in the hole, we'll do this one for fun. There it is, right there, Williams Regulation. 
little different still the same look at that j-hook it tailed a little bit that's cool though this is part of the top of the disc plow probably got it i guess nice nice relic i found a lot of these this year and i have not found this many probably in my whole life so that's awesome another deep one there it is oh yeah you got all kinds of bullets in there camp lead that's good and he said just dug three out of that hole right there so we're using a smaller coil listen that's it my friends right there that's the that's what we wanted that's the first handful out of the bottom and you're seeing stuff like that you know that's what you want to find you just want to find these just color and color and color i think we're at the top of it too which i mean of course we are look at that color i haven't even got to the signal in there so who knows what this is going to be pit fire pit hut we'll find out bone from 160 years ago and ash in color all the way down there I think we're having another four footer i think so i think it's another barrel pit big chunk of bone it's actually butchered here and you got another piece right there yeah probably the other side of it yeah that's cool i hope these guys drank some whiskey with their cow that they ate We'll find out. There's another one. Hey, at least we got something with something in there this time versus our last one. There's two. It's a little bit longer, a little bit taller. Interesting. We just pinpointed it, and look, there's an underwear button sitting right next to a button bullet. So. That's super, super cool. Maybe there's more down there. I'm sure it is. We're finishing the signals up on this one as well. It, um, it's, it rides all the way down to where it's, it's original uh, natural ground. And uh, we've got a couple more signals, picked up a couple bullets, some more nails out of here. But this is looking like another probably three by four warming fire, maybe a cooking pit, no glass. So we know that there's broken glass in this camp. We've seen it on the top and the surface. We know that there's bottles here. We've just got to find a trash pit. Um, circle, fire pit, numero trace. That's three in Spanish if you're interested. And <laughs> a bunch of rocks. And I think we ended up with a little over a dozen bullets and um, this one single solitary underwear button so somebody had an accident and had to remove their shorts burn them up uh yeah it's a lot of dirt a lot of dirt to put back we're gonna do it we just pop this out of the hole we're gonna play a little game of guess the relic do you know what it is mm -hmm. do you know what it is it's folded up awful uh -huh. tight it is any idea now? Uh, yeah, that's a strap adjuster, isn't it? It's a belt adjuster for a belt, belt adjuster, for a, bu yeah. a buckle. How nice. about that? She is that roll, gave you a good signal. Rolled up real tight. It was deep. It was 12, 14 inches deep, maybe deeper. What is that? That's some sort of hook adjuster. Maybe no, sure. you know what that is. Oof. Oh God, it's a part of a spur. It's a part of a sword. Really? Yeah, it's a sword. Um, part of a sword handle. Look at that. 
That's cool. Wow. Yeah, it's part of like a um, uh, the the handle guard of a off of a sword. Huh. This would have been solid brass, and it came wrapped around. It may be bent the wrong direction. I'm not real sure why it's like that, but I'm 95% sure that's a hand guard off a sword. That's neat. We're gonna wrap it up. This is uh, both days for me. That cool piece of sword guard. Uh, I got a couple, couple more bullets to fit in here. Uh, that last bullet I found was cleaner, and uh, that one will tuck in nice and tight. Some more bullets in here. Oh, that one's pulled. How about that? That's surprising. Didn't even notice that. So, pretty cool. A little bit of brass, a little bit of good stuff. No glass, but that's. Uh, we know that there's glass in here somewhere so wow what a two days we uh hope you enjoy this episode if you do consider throwing down a thumbs eye thumbs up like whatever the crap that is down there and uh leave me a comment if you made it all the way here to the end i appreciate you watching this long and i hope it was an exciting episode to the guys here behind me jim ryan don thank you for an amazing time Cheers. as always it was a pleasure and I uh, can't wait to do it again. So let's go.